Welcome to Chat Chow, a weekly online show celebrating the personalities in the food industry. Today we're in Beverly Hills at Enoteca Drago with chef de cuisine Garrett Mukagawa. So could you tell us what we're drinking here today? This is a Super Tuscan wine. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. Cheers. Let's try it. All right, so can you start us off by telling us a little bit about your background? Well, I'm half Japanese, half Korean. Okay. Uh, born and raised in California. Mm -hmm. um, I went to culinary school in Pasadena. And then I ended up working at the Roy's in Maui. And wow. I stayed there for about five years. Mm -hmm. And then I came back to California, mm -hmm. and then I um, rejoined Roy's and worked in La Jolla Roy's for about five years. Wow. And then I opportunity came up and I joined the Drago team mm -hmm. um, exactly a year ago and I've wow. been in Oteca for about a year now. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so the Inotec or the Drago family mm -hmm. of restaurants, there's a few around Los Angeles. What are they known for? Uh, they're known for, you know, very classic Italian food. Mm -hmm. He's chef has pretty much, you know, Stamped the Los Angeles scene with his, his trademark Italian style. Right. We have this location and the downtown location, which is a little more modern take right. on the Italian food as well. Is there like a favorite Italian food that you had growing up that you kind of modernized for the restaurant? I loved all types of pastas. <laughs> uh, okay. let's see. Pizzas, you mm -hmm. know, since we do have a pizza oven, we, I do, you know, do. Di different types of pizzas. Right. Not usually some type of pizza you find on like an Italian menu. We have a nice smoked salmon pizza. It's kind of like our take on like a uh, lox and bagels kind of. Mm -hmm. So we have the capers, pickled red onions, uh, nice smoked salmon, mm -hmm. kind of like a bechamel sauce on the, oh. as the base. We very have, rich. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very rich. We have our bomba pizza, which mm -hmm. is you know pretty much a Drago classic. Mm -hmm. It. It's shaped in a star, mm. so it's, oh, it's wow. basically two pizzas put on top of each other, uh -huh. like that. It's filled with um, black truffles, cheese, wow. um, different assortment of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And we bake it in, we call it bomba because in, I guess Italian bomba means bomb. Okay. So it, it puffs up really big. Oh, wow. So when it, it's presented to the table, it, it's this huge wow. mound of flavor, pretty much. <laughs> so does it kind of look like a calzone? It does, but it's it. larger and it has points on it, so it looks like a like star. Oh, wow. So is there like a difference between traditional Italian cooking and kind of modern? Um, I think so. I think traditional Italian cuisine has more of like a family aspect to it. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the more modern style um, Italian cuisine is going toward more of the smaller plates. Right. So you, as opposed to, you know, like a large plate and share with like everybody. Mm -hmm. But these are more smaller plates, so they would order maybe six or seven of these smaller plates and then they would share it. So you guys have some spiked gelatos mm -hmm. and sorbets. Is it sorbet or sorbetto? <laughs> um, it just depends. On it. It, both are correct. Okay. But, yeah. Um, yeah, we were trying to um, test out a new dessert item mm -hmm. that they call, we call them the spiked gelatos. We come up with a number of different flavors that we, you know, spiked with any type of liquor that we choose. <laughs> um, we one of the most popular ones right now is our uh, tangerine limoncello sorbet. Mm -hmm. We also have a um, strawberry balsamic maker's mark. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah so that, that, <laughs> people like that one. Um, I took a couple of wines. I took a chardonnay and reduced it with cinnamon and um, golden raisins and we made an ice cream out of that. I mean, we just pretty much look in the bar and just see what kind of <laughs> alcohol we want to use oh, and then wow. just pair it with some sort uh -huh. of flavor. Sounds perfect for summer. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> have some on the patio. Or yeah. When, when did you have, when did you start the new menu? We started the menu, I would believe, I think three months ago. Okay. So, and it's relatively it, new, yeah. Okay, so is it mostly kind of your creations or are you teamed up um, with? Well, Chef and I, you know, we collaborated on right. the so yeah. Okay. That's it's a great. collaboration of my, some of my ideas and, uh -huh. and his ideas as well. But all still just like Italian, mm -hmm. 
delicious Italian food. Right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Sounds great. Well, thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. I appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Wow, such a gigantic wine glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs>